Hello friends, this is Vineer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Techies Hub. So today's tutorial is all about how we can add an extension while running the automation scripts. So there are many, many uh, Chrome extensions which you need to have before uh, doing some actions or before running some specific scripts. So how can we achieve that? So the example that I am taking is like uh, actually as per the latest change to a uh, windows uh, single sign-on we need to have a windows 10 uh, account extension that needs to be added to the chrome in order to the people to successfully sign in uh, using single sign-on that means if you are using the uh, uh, assured devops and all those things if you want to access any particular website which are having single sign-on then you need to have this windows 10 account extension to be enabled in the uh, Google Chrome so how we are achieving is like so we are launching the browser then I know which uh, URL that I have to hit to reach that uh, extension in Chrome then actually with the help of the JavaScript executor I am trying to read the button uh, text like if it is already installed it will be removed from Chrome if it is not installed in the text will be add to chrome so if it is add to chrome then i am asking it to add it so i'll be clicking on add to button then using the auto id so you have to just check here i am using an auto id here so you need to have that package then i am doing a left and then i am doing an enter and then i am waiting for some 10 seconds it's actually straightforward and it's very easy but the only thing is you have to make use of javascript executor since it's a extension page that we are uh, handling Okay, so I will just uh, run this at Chrome extension. Okay, so it's, it has reached the extension page, Chrome extension page. Why it is taking this much time to load? Okay, so it's the page has loaded. Okay, for some reason it took more time than expected so I'll just run the script once again you know this time the page loader you can see the button name is add to chrome okay so it has clicked where this model came now we will be using the auto it to uh, select left and enter and we are just waiting for the text to change from uh, remove from chrome so that's pretty much uh, how we are actually making use of uh, adding this uh, extension to chrome and if you go to the visual studio so actually i am using the javascript executor to get the uh, inner text so this will be useful for others who wants to do some magic with the javascript thank you and have a good day bye